atenção. Hello guys, uh, if you can tell me on the chat if, if you are me good and, and if you see the, um, the, the slide, uh, then I will start. Uh, it will help me to know. Perfect. Okay, hi Michael, thank you. Perfect. Okay, nice. Um, okay, so let's start. Uh, so today we'll talk about the, the commodity market and, uh, and uh, I hope you will learn uh, new things today, uh, enjoy the content. I will try to get at the beginning, um, focus really on, the, on all the macro side and all the, 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 the major commodities. We will not enter deep into each commodity, but we, to, to try all the all, all this complex. Um, today we, we tend to forget uh, what is the commodity market. There is a lot of uh, cryptocurrency that uh, uh, that hold the, the, the people and fund uh, put put the eyes on it. For what's going on on the Bitcoin and Ethereum? So so it's 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 a major thing. But uh, we tend to forget commodity and uh, and uh, that that's a, a sector that we have to we have to see uh, as a trader. Um, so please feel free to, to ask me questions if, uh, if during the, the slides you, you have some uh, concern or question, uh, I would be happy to answer it. Okay. Uh, so before that, I will do a little presentation. So my name is Ruben, I'm 24 years old. Um, I'm French, uh, I have a little accent, but I think that's fine. Um, uh, I'm, I'm a, a pop trader since four years and uh, I I trade. Uh, I mean, I'm this. I'm I'm in the um, uh, trading and commodity sectors. Uh, two years in corporation. Um, if there is some Indian people here, maybe uh, they, they know Future Fair, that is a, um, a well-known company in, in India. And I work uh, uh, in the option commodity desk, so I traded uh, oil, um, sugar, and uh, a bit of wheat. Uh, so that's what I did during uh, one year and a half, uh, approximately. And then I, I joined a, a sugar importation company. Um, when we, we imported uh, sugar in our country, and then we have to to redistribute the, the sugar for for the clients. Uh, so that's why I did uh, in, the, in the corporation. So I know well the, the commodity market, and, uh, and and I will share my knowledge today about it. Um, and I joined uh, one one month ago um, the Fibers uh, as a customer success manager. So if if you guys have some question uh, about the 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 program we are we are giving to our trader, and uh, if you you talk in the, in the live chat or in email, I, I'm generally answering uh, all your questions. Um, okay, uh, so so we will start by by uh, the real global definition of of what, of what is a commodity. Um, every time you walk in, into the supermarket or, or into a mall, uh, you're surrounded by commodities that that traded around the world. Uh, let's say car, truck, uh, building, food, electronic device. So, so commodities are, are present everywhere. Um, so I, I will try to explain uh, what is the basics of a commodity, or we can um, uh, the different categories because there is different categories, um, and we will do an overview of the of the market share. Which commodity? I think guys know, but which commodity is the is the biggest uh, key driver uh, sector? Um, Okay, uh, so there is two big categories. Uh, we have the hard and we have the soft. Uh, in the hard, we have the, the metals uh, that includes gold, silver, uh, copper, platinum. Uh, so, so that the, the metal category, we have the energy one uh, with uh, natural gas, crude oil, uh, petroleum, heating oil. Um, and then we have the soft. Uh, so we have livestock, so all, all the food that we can eat, like uh, a pork, a live cattle, feeder cattle, feeder cattle as well. So all these things could be traded in the market. Uh, just for guys, you know, maybe it's a, it's a big. Uh, uh, it can be weird, but but uh, it's can, it's yet traded uh, in, in the in the market. And and the last one is agricultural. So there is a, a wheat, corn, rice, sugar, cotton, coffee, uh, cocoa, and and soybeans. And then there is um, a bit more. Um, so, so to know, commodities started trading uh, a long time ago. Uh, it, it was uh, the, the epicenter of, of economic growth for thousands of years, and people um, traded for for maybe exchange uh, uh, currency uh, or, or just buy food from uh, from everyone. So, um, a, a commodity is uh, is any raw primary material that that will be used in in a production process. 
and each each commodity can be interchangeable. That mean uh, um, a barrel of oil is the same. It will be the same barrel of oil in in, in another country. So um, so all these facts will be interchangeable. All, all these uh, these assets. Um, okay. So so here is, uh, here is the overview of the of the different commodities. Uh, I took um, a little screenshot of what we can see. So uh, there is also platinum, chlor, copper, as we, as we told in the in the metals uh, uh, category. We have heating oil, natural gas, quid oil, WTI. I will take a point a little bit easier. Um, coffee. So here uh, is the the overview of of all the different commodities that that, that can be traded uh, in the market. Okay, uh, let's talk about the market size. Uh, so as you know, oil is the is the bigger uh, commodity trader on the market. As you see, the, the market share of oil um, is all the raw metals combined. Okay, so the 1.720 billion uh, dollars of market share, um, and and it's it's. Um, uh, this is the, the, the biggest uh, commodity trader in the market. Um, and we will explain later why, why everyone as a trader should, should be looking at home because it's, it's, a, it's a market driven for, for inflation and for, um, all the, um, all the um, let's say, for all the assets. It, it's really important to, to see at home. Uh, and I will explain later why. Um, same here, we can see that oil, uh, the market share is, is going up, is increasing, uh, same as gold. Uh, and then we have uh, copper with sugar, that are for the asset. But oil is, is the biggest uh, commodity share. Yeah, 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 this is recorded for everyone. Uh, one last one for it. Um, okay, uh, we'll talk about trading instrument right now. Uh, so, how we can trade commodities in which market, um, and what bef bef before before trading commodities, what was its purpose before? Uh, today, we know that there is an exchange, and uh, we have a platform trading, then where we can trade the commodities. But why um, why um, we allow it uh, today with an easier way with broker and. Uh, and uh, clearing out, for example, we will explain uh, how, how today commodities became uh, uh, exchangeable in the market. Um, so, so when it began, it began in uh, in 1710 uh, at the Dojima Rice Exchange. So it was so before implementing future uh, construct to, to to the exchange, it was necessary to to implement it for producers and the agricultural sectors. Uh, in order to close price for future delivery, uh, so so because there is um, the crop uh, and and we don't have maybe a crop right now, but we want to sell it for a future date. Uh, so I want to close the price for my future payment. Uh, so so the CBOT, the Chicago Board of Trade, they standardized they standardized the, the, the first uh, future contract in um, 1865. Uh, to allow farmers and dealers to trade uh, grain and to um, and to accept a future transaction uh, throughout, throughout the year. Um, so at the beginning, it was only for farmer and buyer purpose. There were no trader at all, and uh, and it was mainly for the importation and exportation side uh, of the commodity. Uh, then today we know that to trade a commodity, um, it, commodities are traded in the derivative market. So it's mainly it will be the, the future contracts, and that, that's what we'll talk today about. Um, uh, and, and there is three types of the of derivative market. So we have the spot price, the spot price that is um, a forward contract that if you want to, 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 to get right now the commodity, um, you, you will have to, to pay at the spot price. Then we have the future price that that um, the, the contract in the future, and I will show uh, just after that um, an example of, of what uh, what is a future price, um, what is a future contract. Sorry, uh, but in the, in the future contract, they, it's written the specific location uh, you want to get the commodity. Let's say you want a barrel of oil for uh, you, you want you are. Um, uh, you want to sell oil for car, um, so so you want to to get it in a uh, in a port. Um, so so it's uh, you have to choose the specific location, at what time. So the future uh, there is each month 
for oil, for example, there we, we have uh, an expiration date at a pre predetermined price. So we get also the price when we get the contract. And the, the third thing is option price. We will not uh, talk this, about this today, uh, but it's a, a great uh, uh, instrument that, uh, that we can trade as well. Um, so today, futures are traded uh, on the exchange. They are highly regulated and standardized. If you want to trade, um, if you want to trade uh, commodities, you can you can speculate on CFDs. It will be better for you because it it, it requires um, lowest margin. Um, so mainly, I, I advise if you want to trade commodities on CFD uh, because generally, if a, a real future contract. Uh, need a lot of margin behind this. Um, OK, so here is an example of, of a contract. Uh, so I, I took the example of WTI that is uh, traded on NYMEX, uh, that is in, in uh, Mercantile Exchange, New York. Uh, so here you can see in the contract that each contract have uh, 1,000 barrels. So when, when, you are, when you buy actually one contract, we get 1,000 barrels. Uh, it gives also the price quotation, generally is in US dollar, it gives you the trading hours uh, and the tick. Okay, so in the right side, I, I give you the later, the depth of market. So um, the, the minimal uh, price fluctuation is one cent. So it's 0 0.01 and each tick. So when, when we get, let's say, for example, from uh, 64.53 to 64.54, uh, it's, it's $10. So it's $10 per tick per lot. Uh, because uh, if you want the, the calculation, so when you, when you buy one contract of oil, you buy um, 1,000 barrels. So if, if, the, if the price of barrel is $60, then the contract value is uh, $60,000. Okay, I, I put as well an example of gold because um, many people are, look, is, are looking also at gold. Um, so this is the same. So when you, get, when you buy one contract, you get... Uh, uh, 125 ounce, so that's the, um, the weight. Um, and, and each price fluctuation is uh, 0 0.1. So each, each fluctuation in price from here to here, let's say, from, uh, it, it's, it's $10 per, per fluctuation if you buy one lot. OK. Uh, if you guys know what is it, so if trading PD, I, I think it's. Uh, it's important to to show where where are the um, the, the basics of the commodities and uh, where where it traded. So it's it trading pit in nine max, and and I think you you see this kind of pit in a in a film or in a movie or as well in journal and uh, and everyone is is crying and shooting out uh, here. So so what are they crying actually? They are crying the um, the, the the future contract that means what, which commodities they want to trade. They, they, they are talking about which, for, for what delivery month they want to get the commodity and, and what is the price, how much is the price. Uh, so that's, that's why all, all the, the traders here on the pit are, are, are shooting. Uh, okay, um, before talking about speculation, because all the traders here, uh, they, they don't want to get, uh, let's say you want to trade oil, you don't want to get uh, oil uh, at your home. You 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 want to just won on the um, you just want to to win uh, uh, a profit for from a trade. Um, so so the the, the the main fact of of a, of a future contract in commodities is for edging aspects, and uh, it's important to notice even you trade for speculation. That means if you if you think the price of of gold will go up, so you will buy. But it's also important why uh, why we we implemented uh, the future contract. So before trading, uh, it, it was mainly intended for edging importation and exportation commodity company. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I did mainly when I worked uh, in an importation company for sugar. So we had uh, a lot of edging to do uh, in the market, and uh, I will give an example of what uh, edging can be. Um, so aging is, uh, is designed to limit the exposure we get. So here it's, a, it's an easy graph. So if you, you want to, to buy a future contract at one, uh, and 100, if you go long, so you will win. If, if you go and, and the price will go up, you will win. If you, you go short, you will lose. And, uh, and, and as a result of geopolitical risk, uh, there is uncertainty of the, of the fluctuation of price. So importation and exportation company will do aging on the market. 
Uh, and I will explain, I will just after we give it, um, give, give an example of how we can, um, how we can get hedge as an importation company. Um, for example, a hedge of a buyer is used when a company is planning to purchase commodities at some time in the future and is objective to decrease the risk uh, related to the possibility of its risk inquiries. Uh, so let's get into the example right now. Um, I, I took the example of a chocolate company that needs cocoa for the production. Uh, so what do you want? Is I, for, for, as a chocolate company, I want the lowest price to buy cacao. Okay, in order to get more profit with uh, with the um, the sale of my chocolate. Okay, so uh, as uh, as the CEO of the company, I, I'm really worried about the price of cocoa. As um, um, and, and the world's largest producer of cocoa is Ivory Coast, and we know that that in Ivory Coast sometimes there is uh, civil wars and there is some geopolitical uncertainty. So a bad day could send cacao to the sky. So what I will do. Uh, so let's say we are in June, okay? So I will buy future for December expiration. And then if the price went up, I will earn from my hedge. If it goes down, I will lost. But we, we have to remember that hedging is a defensive move. So it, it will just help us to, to reduce the business risk. Okay, um, so here the really the, the basics of, of a commodity. Um, we talked about um, a hedging for importation company. And, um, and how we, we can trade it. Uh, but wha what is really important and uh, important to know for you, um, it's, it's what, what, can, what, can, um, what factor uh, can influence the commodity market. I, I will show a, a bit of question. So you do you have the coding knowledge to trade or to enter in the trading floor? I think to enter in the trading floor, uh, you, you have to, to place maybe, uh, you have to enter the company and um, a bank or hedge, or hedge fund and uh, maybe an importation company. And you, I, I think you, you have to pass an exam or have a right to go there. Uh, but it's really um, uh, not everyone can enter in a, in a pit uh, to, 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 to trading floor. And today, it's, it's uh, um, today, if you want to trade, you, you can trade from, uh, from, um, Trading platform, it, it's easier. I think trading pit is uh, we there will mo there will be no more trading pit in uh, in few years. Um, okay, uh, so so let's let's ask you guys if you think what is the biggest uh, factor that can influence the, the commodity market. If you guys have, have some ideas in the chat, uh, uh, we'll start by this. Okay. Yes, Matthew. Okay, why is a is a great one. Yeah, we repeat the question. So, what factor drives the price in the common market? If, if you guys have some, uh, have some, uh, is there okay? Supply and demand. That's a good one as well. Uh, unions like OPEC as well. Bad summer as well for the crop, for agricultural uh, commodities. Fundamental too. Okay, so we have we have great uh, great sunshine on the chat, and uh, I, I will start by giving the um, the, the most influence the most uh, factor influence the dollar as well. Uh, okay, so the first one, the first one is physical and supply demand, as uh, as you said, uh, Michael. So it's it's the biggest uh, thing that we have to look as a commodity trader. So you have to look at the physical supply and demand. So when I when I am saying supply demand. Um, it's um, it's the production and the consumption uh, itself. So we have to analyze the crop and the production of each commodity. Uh, let's say how many oil we pump uh, in the pipeline and how many crop there is this year in corn, for example. Um, and we have to analyze the expected consumption um, stat statistics. So when we get uh, the, the this equilibrium, let's say, there is more. There is more uh, this year. There is more production than consumption. Okay, so it's it's an indication that the price will go down because we have stocks. We have a lot of stocks, but no one wants to consume. Um, so the price will go down. That's that's the main thing that we have to look at in, in the commodity market, and I will explain an example uh, just after it. Um, like uh, Jonathan, you say OPEC, and uh, and that's uh, also a good uh, a good factor to see. It's, uh, so we have to analyze at each report. 
And then before there is stocks, inventories, exportation and importation. So uh, in the economic calendar, we have um, uh, in the economic calendar, we have uh, sometimes uh, an, an OPEC uh, meeting. We have also the inventories of oil, for example. We have the crop for wheat and agricultural agricultural commodity. And we have to look at this number to know uh, where we stand um, uh, regarding the, um, the, the production of each commodity. Um, the third one will be macroeconomics context. So we, we have to look at the fundamental, like, like, like you said, Pascal, so that, that's interesting that all of you guys in the chat told at least one, one factor that, that will, be, uh, uh, will be a price driver for commodity market. Um, so we have to know what, what is the macroeconomic context. Yeah, if we are in Wisconsin, and Wisconsin, um, and I will explain what, what it is after with, with an explain of gold. Um, we have as well geopolitical concern, as I explained um, before with cocoa and the explanation of an aging comp of um, a chocolate company with the aging, uh, aging aspect. Uh, we have also was insecurity. Um, for, I will repeat uh, because I traded also, I have a lot of example in oil in my head. Um, if there is a big wine in uh, Saudi Arabia, for example, that is a, a big producer of oil, if there is a war in insecurity, it will affect the exportation of oil and, and then the price will go up because there, there will be more demand. Uh, meteorology as well is a, is a great fact to know. Um, and uh, one month ago, I think in, uh, in Texas, um, there was a... Um, uh, a freeze, um, an Arctic blast reduced all production by more than 4 million barrels a day uh, because of the cold and the, the cold freezer refinery. Uh, so there was a refinery that shut down. Um, uh, and so meteorology leads maybe to, 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 to increase or to decrease each production. Uh, same for dry reserve for agricultural commodity, for example. At, at the time, we, we, we are crushing. Uh, um, we are crashing in the field corn or, or, or sugar, for example. Uh, our supply and demand level, we speak it more and also in the same manner as the FX market. Uh, yes, um, if you are talking about uh, technical analysis, so yeah, we, we, we can as well see in a chart, and we'll explain later, I will give you an example with gold, um, why we can as well look at techni technical levels in, in, in each chart. But, but when I said physical supply demand, it's really the, the number of production and, um, and, and consumption as, uh, itself. Uh, but that, that's a great question. Uh, but yeah, technical analysis, um, it's, it's, it's for a long-term uh, position in the commodity market. What, what I'm talking about now, it, it's, it's for a long-term overview of the commodity. It's, it will not help you to, to enter a position in one day or two days. Uh, but maybe six months, one year um, uh, strategy. Uh, so we have governmental policies as well. Um, uh, currency movement uh, for Dora, if the Dora is uh, appreciating or if it's decreasing uh, as a value, so it will, uh, it will move uh, as well commodity. And I will explain later why we give an example as well. And the last one is China. Uh, I, I will explain later why we, we should look at China today, today uh, as, a, uh, as a commodity trader. Uh, so the first one is the physical supply demand. Um, as I say, so we have to analyze the supply and demand forecast. This is not something new to you, but when the, the demand is higher than the supply, the price should go up. Uh, and, the, and the opposite, the, the price should go down. Um, so, so the price will fluctuate in the short term. So it's not easy, as I say, to make strategy for the short-term trade. Well, what we are looking here, it's a long-term strategy. Uh, and we will look at supply demand analysis uh, for each commodity. Um, and then you can expect uh, a long-term strategy using the fundamentals to, to forecast the prices. Um, let's say in equity, generally, to, to the supply demand is, is either the, the equity is overvalued or undervalued. Uh, in commodity, it's a supply demand itself, so consumption and production. Um, so here is an example of what happened um, during the, the, the crisis of Corona uh, uh, on oil. So we can see that the, the world consumption of oil from uh, 2014 is going up. Uh, and then here, uh, close to the, the lockdown and what, what, what's, go, what's happened in March, all the consumption went down. Um, and, and 
the, the world supplies as well. They, they, they cut, the OPEC decided to cut all the production. Um, and then today, we have a great demand of oil and what is happening. Um, so yeah, we have to check reports and, uh, of adding stocks, inventories, exportation and consumption. So that's what uh, you have to look um, to understand the um, commodities in the long term. Okay. Um, so I, I have a question right now for you. If, let's say India is putting a, a, a restriction on sugar consumption because of uh, obesity purpose. Okay, so that, that, that's true that, uh, that the price will shrink. Okay, uh, let's say the stocks are full. So I give an example of what happened in sugar uh, in 2016-2017. Um, and we can see here in the graph that the consumption uh, from 20 from 2010 um, to, uh, to 2016, the, the, con the consumption of sugar is always increasing because we have more people uh, uh, in hers. So, but the, produ the, the, the production, okay? So the production went down uh, and the end uh, ending stocks as well, okay? So you see that the, that the, 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 the demand for sugar um, is, is going up, but the, but the stocks are going down. So we, we are less sugar. So what happened in here actually, okay? So the, the price from 2015 to, to, to let's say 2016 to 2017, the price went up to from 10 cents to 24 cents. So that maybe um, one person 50 increase uh, on the price of sugar, just because of supply demand that 80% of the, um, 80% of the explanation of, of this increase on price, it, it, it because of this, of the production and, uh, and the, of the supply demand of the commodity itself. And to look at the, at the, at the production of, uh, uh, to, to look at the supply demand, we have to look at what country is the biggest producer of, of each commodity. So for sugar, for example, Brazil is the biggest producer. So we have to look at, at Brazil, but also India and Thailand, if you want to trade sugar. Um, okay, and I will move up. So here also we have uh, uh, different uh, price movement factors from for agricultural uh, price movement. So as we say, there is the agricultural land, the yield, the farm management. Um, so here is the um, is the influence of uh, of uh, agricultural commodity. Okay, and here for for forex trader that, that can be interesting because. There is a, a negative correlation with the dollar currency uh, with the price of oil, okay? Because the, the barrel of oil is traded in, uh, in dollar actually. Uh, when when the, the, the dollar uh, will lose value, okay? We, we will, the, the price of, of oil will go up because for us, it will be cheaper to buy oil as an importation company, for example. Okay, so here you, you see that, that the price of, of, um, of the barrel went up and, and the dollar decreasing. Okay, same here. We see in a, an inversion pattern here. We see that the 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 bar the so here it's the um, it's the dollar currency. We see that that it's uh, appreciating in uh, uh, in value, and then here uh, the price of uh, uh, of a barrel went down. Um, and same, I, I will take. The example as well of sugar and coffee, uh, we have to look at the real Brazilian because sugar and coffee, the, the main producer of this commodity are, are, is Brazil. So we have to look at the real Brazilian. That is the, the currency of the Brazil. Uh, and, and the last one is China. So, so as I said, we, we have to look at China and what is happening uh, in this country. The, the GDP growth rate uh, is is six percent per year, so it's incredible. I think it will become the, the first world economy um, uh, after uh, the U.S. Uh, and, and China is the first consumer of copper, steel, iron, and soybeans. Um, they are as well the number two of consumer of oil and corn behind the, the, the U.S. Uh, and, and taking a look at the China is, is a must uh, for understand commodity price movement. You, you have to know what, what what is happening in this country. Uh, how many? What is the expectation per, per what is the expectation of consumption uh, per um, uh, per people there? Um, uh, and yeah, they, they produce a lot of things. So so each commodity will will. Um, 
they, they bought a lot of commodities. Uh, they produce refrigerators, washing machines, cars, uh, mobile phones. So, uh, so you, you have to look at this country uh, to, to understand uh, the, the, the price movement of a commodity. Uh, and I think that's it. Let, let's say I will take an example of China. If you remember, there was um, uh, a trade war with Trump that, that uh, put tariff on each importation uh, of um, of corn, wheat, uh, and same as oil. So so China didn't want to buy as a, a, a lot of commodity because the price, because the, there is tariff on this uh, on this commodity. Uh, but but once the the they, they put an agreement together, uh, hold the price of uh, of corn and wheat, uh, and agricultural commodities went up uh, by far. Uh, okay. Uh, let, it was um, really theoretical what I said until now, and we we'll look uh, at what what happened in the COVID uh, with, with all the indicators I, I, I talked to you uh, just before. Uh, it, it will be interesting what what really happening on the market. Okay, uh, so this is uh, the index of each sector uh, per commodity. So we have the energy, as I said, there is oil, gas. Uh, and gasoline, agriculture, there is uh, cotton, cow, soybean, corn, uh, and more. And metal, we have gold, copper, and silver. Okay, so you can see that the energy shrink uh, 50% down, the metals a bit less, and the agriculture, okay, so we, we, we still flat on this, and we'll, I will explain why. So the energy sector crash, uh, because as you know, there was, the, there was a lockdown, so uh, the demand for the, the demand for plane and for car was uh, was really down, so the, the, there was zero demand for transportation. So all the oil market went down, and and the oil market drove all the market to go down. Uh, regarding the metals, uh, we know that when when we are in a risk off period, that means investor uh, investor that want to put their money in the in the stock market. Okay, they, they, they want to, they, they will withdraw the money from the stock market and they will put their money in a safe asset as gold or, or, sil or, or silver. That, that's why um, the, the price of gold um, did the whole time high uh, at 2100 um, because investors say, okay, there is a big risk to right now in the market, there is corona. There is the, the crisis, I will put my money in gold. And th that, that's why the, the metals still went down, but but gold did the whole time high. Uh, the last one is agriculture, and uh, it stays strong because, as I said just before, China is buying a lot of commodity, and uh, there was a, a buying opportunity for them to get uh, soybean and corn, for example, at a discount price, uh, and saying that the, there was an agreement between uh, Trump and, um, and China regarding the, the trade war with the tariff. So that's why agriculture is still flat here, and uh, and um, this, this is not fair as energy, for example. Okay, uh, so I will explain what happened in, in, in the in how we can study uh, and how we can look. So here, as you can see here, the shadow. I'm in the chart right now. Um, you can see that oil hit maybe 65 when Soleimani uh, was killed in Iran uh, by US. And just after, so people were afraid here of, of a war between Iran and US. And then Trump, uh, Donald Trump, um, made a tweet and he said, I don't, he, not, he didn't say like, that like this, but he said, I don't want a war right now. And all the people try to starting to sell oil because, okay, there is no uh, nothing left to worry. What I will do is that, okay, um, uh, there is no worry, I will sell oil. Okay. So, so the start, the, the, the beginning of, of the, the, the crash of oil started just here, okay? Here, the gap that we, that we saw here, maybe it's from 42 and then it's open uh, in, in 32 approximately. So uh, during the weekend, uh, there was an, an, an OPEC, um, so yeah, it's here. Uh, there was an OPEC meeting during the weekend and uh, the Russia, that is a big producer of oil, didn't want to get uh, a cut in the supply. Um, and so, and Saudi Arabia told them in the weekend, okay, Russia, you don't want to, we don't want to to cut the production. So what we'll do, we'll increase production. So they they, they it was uh, 
it, it was a, a no agreement uh, totally, and um, and here as well was the beginning of uh, of the um, of the uh, of the crisis so of the corona. Uh, there was less transportation, but but Russia and Saudi Arabia started to produce more. Uh, more oil, so that that led to, to to a price to shrink. So here is the first thing, and here, as we can see, it's like uh, I will explain later why the price touch a, a, a negative uh, number. That is uh, the first time in the whole market. Uh, so what this happened? So no demand here. Why why this happened here? Uh, why we get why we went to negative uh, uh, country, uh, territory? So there is uh, the supply were full. There was no demand. There were no agreement between Russia and Saudi Arabia, and um, and the capacity and the um, and the storage of oil was expensive, and there was no more place for oil. Uh, all right. Okay, so as we saw here, um, the the price uh, touched negative uh, thirty seven uh, in the May contract, but in June it stayed twenty, and I will explain why. Um, the, the, the contract that touched uh, negative 37, um, why uh, was the, the future contract that expired in two days? So, so what traders did, they, they just sell this contract and they buy this one. Okay, so there was, when, when this touched the, 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 the negative territory, um, there was really low volume in the market. So the price went to, to, to negative 10 to negative 20, like there was really gap during the intraday trading. Uh, and all the traders already went to trading this, this future. Okay, not this one, because this one, the expiration was in one day or two day, and it, it was not interesting to... So it was a little glitch in the market, let's say, but yeah, we, we, saw, we saw actually a negative, uh, a negative pricing hold. And yeah, uh, Homer Simpson, the, as we say, no, not the future, and uh, he, he had free gas this day. Um, Okay, uh, here we have uh, a good explanation of, uh, of as well what happened during the, 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 the crisis. Um, so when the, 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 the lockdown started, uh, we see a sell-off, a little sell-off here. So it's a daily candle. Uh, we see here it's sell -off, a, a, a sell-off. Okay, so people started to, to, to sell gold because everyone wants to sell everything when, when there is a panic in the market. And here we see a, a, a return of pattern, let's say, and uh, people as I said, started to think, okay, um, uh, um, I want to put my money somewhere. The stock market is not so safe right now, so I will put my money in gold. Okay, so what happened? So the, 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 the price of gold started to, to go up, to go up and touch the uh, all time high. Okay, so on the investor reaction uh, of, on gold, it was a safe asset, it's a risk of market. So it, when it went up, and here, as we saw, uh, the, the stock market is going to recover and uh, and people started to sell to, to sell gold. Here, I think we're in the demand zone, so we can we can start to, to invest in gold right now. It's, it, it can be a good opportunity in the long term. Um, okay, and remember the, the main factor of, of gold or each commodity is supply demand. So, okay, here it, it's it's a macro uh, analysis, but we have as well to, we have to know the supply demand. And the supply demand in gold, for example, here we see that the, the mining capacity utilization, it it. It's, uh, it's it's really low. It's like the the level of um, of 2010 uh, to 24 as well. So so there is less supply, and and we can expect um, um, a long term um, bullish trend on gold. Uh, okay. Um, so after the big crash uh, of the COVID crisis, we saw a bottom in, in 90 percent of all the commodity. Let's say oil touched the bottom, um, same as some same as sugar, gasoline, and other commodities. Um, and now uh, today in the market, oil is trading at, at 70 dollars per barrel. So so we saw a great uh, returning pattern on commodity, and I will explain why and what that means in the market and what we can expect uh, from, from, from this right now in the future. Um, market maker make money on this spread or they have other tools. Um, market maker, most of the market makers make, make uh, money on spreads. Um, so they give the liquidity on the market and so uh, also they, they have technological uh, um, computer, techn technological uh, algorithm that, that 
that allow them to 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 demonize their risk. Uh, but yeah, mainly the, the market maker are doing a certain trade and giving liquidity on the market. Uh, so so what do you think? I think what do you think on the market right now? What, what do you think we, we should see commodity in a whole complex? I, I'm not talking about only oil, but or only gold. But or what do you think of the commodity market today? Uh, do you think it will go up? It will go down? Uh, that it went up uh, quickly, then we will that we, then we will see a sell off in the market. If you guys have um, uh, little ID, um, uh, I will be happy to see some answer in the chat uh, to see if you guys have uh, some concern of this market right now. Yeah, start starting to see a recovery. Uh, we are already in a recovery. I will explain why. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the commodity market uh, already started the recovery by far because oil is today at $65, $66 per barrel. Uh, so that's, if, if I want, uh, that can go before. Okay. So just here today, the, the, the oil, okay, we are, we are here. So we are after the, uh, after this, the, the start of all the, this downward, this, this downward trend. We are here today in oil. Uh, the oil seems at the peak compared to recovery. That, that, that may be a great uh, answer. We, the, the oil is only going up for the moment. Uh, okay, so I will explain. What I think on the market right now. Um, so the, the the chart here is the um, commodities to equities ratio. Okay. So what that means, I, I, it's maybe a bit complicated, um, but it's the ratio between the commodity market and the equity market. Okay. So that means here, okay, it's like maybe it was a few months ago. Today we are not here. We are maybe here. That means that the commodity market, okay, was really um, Cheap compared to the stock market. Okay, today all the all the the, uh, the S and P uh, and all the stocks, all the indexes um, are up. They are maybe overvalued today, but the commodity market still undervalued compared to what what happened in the in the stock market. Okay, so this is um, uh, if you buy here in, in commodity index, could be a one-time opportunity in in uh, in ten or twenty years. Okay, so, so that year one was, let's say, a, a, big, uh, a big opportunity in the market. Um, uh, also, um, uh, there is sometimes there is a low negative correlation to traditional asset classes. So sometimes when the stock market goes down, the commodity can be up. I, I don't think today that, that it, we, we can take it as a, as a, as a correlation, um, but Investing today in the commodity in the commodity market can be a hedge for your portfolio if you have a portfolio in stocks, um, because it's cheap. Okay, even 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 we touch uh, sixty six dollar in the, in the oil, it's still cheap for me. Uh, okay, so here it's a Bloomberg Commodity Index. So it's we group all the commodity that traded in the market. So you see that energy is like the the, the weight of this commodity. Index is 30%, grains is 22%, metal is 17%, etc. Um, and you see that from uh, from 2008, we are in a downward um, trend. And here, okay, maybe let's say it could be a recovery of the commodity markets. And we know that there is a big cycle uh, in commodity and in and, um, uh, index and stock market. Uh, so if you want, uh, to invest, uh, not maybe only in oil or in gas, you can invest in, in the whole commodity complex. So, so the, um, the one of index uh, you can invest, it's the, the, the Bloomberg Commodity Index, that is an ETF. Um, it's in well-balanced uh, way, so there is a, it's, it's well divided between all the, all, all the categories. Um, we have also the, the S&P GSCI and the CRB, uh, that is the Ray Wooters Index. Um, so that's if you want to, to invest a bit in the ETF to, to add your, uh, your portfolio. But 
let's say today, uh, and I will show here the graph of one on an index. Uh, so here it took the bottom, right now it's uh, maybe more than 100%. Um, it can be here a little sell off, let's say today. I, I don't know if I will enter the market right now, but I think there is a lot of place to go uh, because as we saw, uh, uh, that it, it's really cheap and uh, it, it, it could be a great uh, opportunity investment. Uh, okay, uh, same as inflation. So we know that commodities is a hedge against inflation. Um, as, as inflation shrink and then the, it went up and all the, the stock market going up, all the Fed that is putting a lot of money in the stock market uh, could be an indicator uh, for investors to buy commodity as a whole complex, not only one of commodity, but, but commodity in a, in um, in all the sector uh, to to, div to 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 diversify uh, our investment. Um, so yeah, commodity price typically rise when inflation is accelerating, as the demand for goods and service services increases because of the price. Uh, and same metals on energy products tend to be a, a good edge uh, against inflation, and I think that's what uh, we are looking at it right now. Okay, uh, so as I explained, I think that all the indicators that we already entailed, uh, we already entered in the, in the bull run market, um, macroeconomically speaking. I'm not talking about this, like, okay, in one week, the commodity sector will go up, but we have to look at two years, three years in, in, in what kind of or, or environment uh, we are. And I think we are in the, in the long-term uh, pattern for, um, for, for the commodity complex. Um, if you guys have some question about why I think about the market uh, in the commodity, if you have some question as well about oil, uh, sugar, what I did uh, in my in, as a trader in uh, in option, for example, if you have some question, feel free. Uh, I just finished it today. Uh, I, I would like to thank you all the people that that listen to me um, and that interact and interacted with me. Um, just to be clear, it was an, an overall view of the commodity sectors. Uh, it, it's really difficult to talk in, in less than one hour in, uh, um, with all this uh, information. I think I, I put uh, maybe a lot of information today, um, but uh, maybe in the future I will, uh, I will analyze each commodity uh, independently and we will maybe try to understand better uh, the price movement uh, weekly or, or, or daily. Um, uh, Okay, so that's it. If you guys have some questions on the chat, I would be happy to, to answer uh, your question. Uh, it was a pleasure for me to talk with you today. Thank you, Craig. Uh, yes, Daniel, we are we are working to, to add uh, um, new assets in our program. Um, we are maybe thinking about having commodity, some commodity uh, will be available in trading. Uh, and our team are, are working on that. So, so don't worry, when, when, when it will be available, we will make an update. Uh, we have a lot of demand uh, to add new assets as commodity. So, so yeah, uh, that, that will be, um, that's, that's an idea we are looking off, and maybe in the near future we will have uh, commodity assets. Uh, when will the recording of this be made available? Uh, I think next week uh, we will add this in, in YouTube. If you want to 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 review and we see the see again the the, the video. Thank you, Mika. Uh, Do you think that commodities bull market will involve gold? I think that US dollar will running up in the medium term. Um, as a world complex, I, I think that the commodity will go up. I think as well that some investors are, are, are not so sure about the stock market, so, so they want to put an edge in the gold. Um, so, so yeah, I think that in the, in, in the, in the mid-term, long-term overview, gold can go up, uh, as we saw, as well as, as I will just show you uh, if I can see this. Uh, 
just this. So you, you see that like the supply is going down, the capacity utilization is going down. So that's also a great indicator that maybe gold can 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 go up. Uh, even even the the dollar is, is appreciating. Um, uh, interesting. We need to watch out for question with CID and go question to order. Yeah, yeah, ex exactly. If you want to to see all correlation, you, you have to look as well at the Canadian dollar and, and the Australian dollar. Um, I, I choose the the USD because. Uh, uh, th that's the main factor to, to look at it, but but yeah, you have to look at CAD and AUD uh, to 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 see a, a correlation in the market. But as I said, um, uh, the, the the currency move uh, for uh, the oil movement is only one of the factors. So you have to look at the supply demand itself um, and the macroeconomical aspects of uh, of what's going on in the market. But yes, you have to look at this at, at this uh, at this uh, currencies. Uh, for you, what is the best position trading in a work or in a poor trading group or trading for a company which in commodity like you've done sugar or farine? Uh, it, it depends uh, of what kind of, op of opportunity you will get. Um, if you can start um, in a prop trading group uh, or trading company, it, it will be, I think, the best exper experience you can get. But today, it's really hard to, to get into this kind of position. Uh, same as a bank. I, I, think, I think it can be a good start for, for a trading career. Uh, but trading as well, they say in uh, in in, um, in a sugar or, or wheat company that importation, you will learn a lot of um, of aging uh, um, aspects of the of, of these things. But it, it's not like a bank of a uh, trading group. But yeah, that, those two things to to the, um, those two kinds of work as a, are a great start for a trading career. In your opinion, trading gold or trade alongside the forex market, do you have to adjust your style a lot, or are traders better solely trading forex or commodity? Could watching both markets during the trade ideas? Um, if you are only traded forex, because if, if you are trading in, uh, in, in the five, you can only trade forex for the moment. Um, generally, it's the forex market, uh, let's say the USD or the CAD, that will move the commodity market. As I said, when the, for example, the USD is losing value, okay, we, we can get um, a barrel of oil as a cheaper price. So there is a direct co uh, negative correlation between uh, the USD and the oil. But as you know, it, it's difficult to take uh, a short-term strategy. Let's say, oh, today, today the, the dollar index is going down, so are we buy oil? No, no, it, it, it's you, you don't have to look at it. But yeah. Uh, it, it could ruin your trade ideas. Um, so, so if you're focusing one on the forex market, stay focused on this. And when you will trade, maybe oil in or commodity in the in the long term uh, or view, uh, you you have to look at the at the at the currency and forex market. So yeah, you're welcome, Matthew. Okay, last question, and I will close uh, the presentation. Uh, I would like to thank you again for all the people that stay with me. Um, I hope I can uh, present something new, um, maybe on uh, on other, maybe on only on oil or only on uh, on on sugar, for example. Uh, maybe option. I, I don't know, but uh, but it was uh, great for me to talk to you today, and I'm sure we'll uh, I'm sure we'll uh, we'll meet uh soon again thank you guys have a nice day bye 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 peter